Hello again viewers, Wayne here and welcome into Wayne's World for episode 17 of our F1 Manager 22 save with the Mercedes team on the PS5. I hope you're doing well. First of all, I want to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers. We've passed 125 subs. Our next target is 150. So if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button down below. Like the video if you are enjoying the content and stick around. There might be some spoilers though, so be sure you do watch the previous video around Monza and um, things are going well right now for the Mercedes team currently sitting in second place in the constructor standings close the gap on Ferrari once again with a decent decent performance last time out in Monza in the drivers championship though Charles Leclerc is starting to show his form and he's starting to run away a little bit with it at the top he's opened up a gap of 12 points to or 11 points sorry to Lewis Hamilton um so we've got a little bit of work to do the problem is everyone's now starting to bring their upgrades we done our upgrades a little bit earlier in the season it brought us some success we've got five victories with Lewis Hamilton one with George Russell so we have won quite a few races this year which um is definitely an improvement on the real life Mercedes car so I could be proud of that and we're gonna have some research come in on the side pod so the research project has been complete that is obviously for next season's regulation changes so happy days there let's go into our emails and we can see just how much we've improved there the drag reduction has gone up the engine cooling has gone up the airflow has gone up in the middle and airflow front has gone up as well um so i think we do need to do a little bit more research before the end of the season however I do want to say that we do need to try and get maybe one more upgrade before the end of this season because I do want to give us the best possible opportunity to win, if not the Constructors Championship or the Drivers Championship, I'd ideally like to win both Italian Grand Prix. Uh, just some debrief there from Bono. We're exceeding expectations, which is perfectly normal. Big one is thank you to all the teams. We've got a regulation change. Last time out, we were asked, do we want to reduce the cost cap? And basically, everyone apart from Haas and Alfa Romeo has voted for. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um, but everyone is in chain in uh, favour of those changes. So, happy days there. You will see the cost cap reduced from $141 million uh, to $136 million. The fact that Haas and Alfa Romeo rejected that, um, a little bit surprised because I would think that that would be in their favor as the front wing has finished being manufactured. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. We do have the new spec of the front wing on the car. What we do want to do, though, is we want to head to the um, cars, car part development, new project. And we're going to see what we can do on the side pods because the side pods are where we need, I think, to improve a lot of the engine cooling. We're the worst on the grid pretty much when it comes to engine cooling at the minute. Um, most cars are now up in the 60%, whereas we aren't. So I think this is going to be our last major upgrade and I think we're going to go all in um, with one point, uh, 2.1 on the... Um, hours there and wind tunnel hours we're going at least to 31 um and then engine cooling we need to improve so yeah i think we're gonna have to do something like this if we go to design focus engine cooling is where we really need to improve um and we're gonna do something like that and we're going to get up towards the city. So we're going to do something like that as things stand. But um, I'm going to do that with the airflow middle and bring it down. I think we're just going to focus actually on the engine cooling and try to jump that up to 56. Can we get it higher than 56? We do more hours. No, I don't think so. I don't think that really affects it, but we'll do that. And then what about if we do something like that? No, the engine cooling only goes up to 56. I don't think that's going to be enough, really, um, to be worthwhile. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough to be worthwhile. Um, and we still need to obviously do some research as well. But let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway, uh, because the engine cooling does need to be heavily improved there we do need to do that uh, development settings we've got six engineers available we're gonna go with five 
And we're going to go with... In... We're going to go rushed. We've got eight days until the Singapore Grand Prix. If we go rushed, that means that these side pods can come in probably by the race after Japan, I think. Unless they're back-to-back -back races. There's five races left in the season. And we need to do our best to try and... Um, try and get some more in there. So we've got to rush it. And in three weeks, I'm hoping that that can make a big difference towards the end of the season. And... Um, do, is there anything else that we could do for engine cooling? I don't think so. It's just the chassis and the side pods. And the chassis has already got a research in progress. So that's what we're going to do there. A new um, side pod design is hopefully coming in. Let's check out some emails here. Research. Once the chassis is complete, we're going to do another chassis. And then probably one more side pod towards the end of the season. Because obviously all focus needs to then be on next season's cars. The rear wing manufacturing has been done. Let's go back to our emails uh, race prep for Singapore. Um, yeah, all good. Everything is all set up here. The only thing I do want to check is the circuit information expected strategies. They think a one-stop strategy is probably for the best. Soft to medium or uh, soft to hard. So one of those two, that's fine. Uh, if we go back to review target, qualifying position, two drivers in the top six, reach Q3, reach Q2, that's fine. Um, fastest lap, finish position, two drivers in the top eight again, as usual, because I don't know how we're going to go around these, uh, Singapore streets and finish position, one driver in the top eight and two drivers qualifying in the top eight. So that should be good. Let's head on to Singapore. We're here at the Marina Bay street circuit and the Singapore Grand Prix is just about to start. The name Singapore means City of Lions, and this weekend, Formula One will be roaring into action. The bumpy street surfaces here make this a challenging circuit for the drivers, and the humidity causes them to lose as much as three kilos over the course of a race. But it's also tough on the cars, with 23 corners to tackle each and every lap. Good low-speed downforce will make all the difference here. Mercedes made us all dream this season, but will their dreams of the championship become reality? They're facing off against the formidable Ferrari, who won't go down without a fight. The competition is on. Right, so weather-wise then, we are looking at cloudy and clear skies for the majority of it. No rain, which um, is a bit of a shame because, again, that could cause a little bit of chaos for us. Um... We've not been to Singapore for a while, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. Car setup-wise, we do have a little bit of work to do. So we're going rear wing down to about there, and front wing can go up a bit. Uh, so something like that. Um, and then we would do... As you know, front wing is going... Yeah, something like that. Tire camber can go down just a little bit. And then the toe out as well. We'll just start something like that for Lewis Hamilton. Um, we're there. And then we'll go 17 laps on the first. Soft run with Lewis. Second for uh, George Russell. we we'll do something similar. So the rear wing goes somewhere like that. And then the front wing can go somewhere like that. Um, Anti-roll. can do something like that. And then we'll do that. And that will be an initial first setup for George Russell. Let's send both cars out. And as usual, if there is any highlights to bring you, I'll do that across the three practice sessions. Halfway through practice one, then George Russell's down in P9. Lewis Hamilton's in P8. We're not really too worried about the times, though. What I am finding interesting, though, is um, we do have to obviously watch out for traffic around here. Singapore, very difficult to overtake. And although it is practice, we've been stuck behind the Williams of, is it Alexander Albon? Yeah, we've been stuck behind the Williams of Alexander Albon for about 10 minutes now already. Um, it doesn't seem to really be affecting our uh, setup too much. We've come back with a little bit of feedback with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. But yeah, in qualifying, we could potentially have a little bit of a problem if we don't time the releases correctly. Right then, at the end of practice one, then almost, and we've got three optimals, a great and a bad with George Russell. So that isn't too, too bad uh, whatsoever. We are going to mess around with the setup a little bit. And then the toe out and then tire camber and then the toe out again. Yeah, we could do something like 
that the straights are perfectly fine so lewis hamilton is on at 82 percent so we've got an optimal three goods and a great so uh the rear wing is gonna have to be adjusted so we'll go that way uh, let's do something like this with lewis hamilton ahead of practice two we'll confirm that on the car uh four minutes to go george russell's down in p9 lewis hamilton is in p6 and the two ferraris once again leading the way with charles Leclerc dominant at the top um valtteri bottas and alfa tauri sorry in the alfa romeo up in p4 so they might be a threat to us car. here's the replay now watch this here's the moments involving albon a huge crash involving Albon. Our first incident here at turn 13. He's gone straight into the wall. There's a virtual safety car out. I'm expecting a few more crashes this weekend. At the start of practice two, there's only been three minutes gone. And Alexander Albon's already out of the session. Um, one thing I did notice at the end of practice one, Carlos Sainz has another grid penalty, I think, for engine changes. So um, that's a free position up for us. If we can maybe qualify in the top three, that would be good um so yeah we'll see how carlos Sainz does in qualifying we're still out or we've just gone out on our session plans let's hope that we can get some decent feedback in another crash then this time fernando alonso locks up loses the back end and spins at turn seven um yeah it seems to be a session of yellow flags no virtual safety car this time pace wise currently p2 and p4 but verstappen hasn't set a lap uh, perez has only really set a lap under the yellow flags so not the fastest um but we're doing okay we're doing okay and in the middle of practice two george russell's come in with a hundred percent setup so now we can just focus completely on the track acclimatization the medium tires could go about 60 laps we're not going to do that we don't need to worry about that um the medium tires have gone on and we are going to do a run plan of let's do 30 laps but fantastic that we've got george russell out of the way so quickly we've had another incident this time involving lance stroll locks up and crashes at the same the place that alexander albon does another retirement in this practice session another virtual safety car lewis hamilton currently up in p2 george russell currently in p5 but george russell again is doing his long run since he's got his 100 percent uh we're gonna fast forward on and hopefully just get a little bit more feedback with lewis hamilton and then we can just concentrate on long runs with him as well another crash then this time involving the alpine of ocon a huge accident there that was major major lockup and he crashes out that's now ocon stroll and albon all out of practice two three safety cars in one set or three virtual safety cars in one session crazy although i am surprised they didn't red flag that end of practice two then and three huge crashes brought some disruption to uh, proceedings but Max Verstappen leaves the timesheets in practice two followed by Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc in P3. Uh, Lewis Hamilton was in P4 and George Russell in P8 but the good thing about George Russell is we only need to worry about the track acclimatization now so we'll send him out on some hard tires in the next practice we will call him into the pits now and that will be the end of his session lewis hamilton already there we just need to mess around with his setup a little bit more but now we're going to move on to practice three and um yeah that should be 100 percent on track acclimatization as you can see here carlos Sainz, joe Guan Yu both have engine penalties coming for the race as do latifi Stroll and album latifi now involved in a huge crash right in front of lewis hamilton he locks up that goes into the wall the um that's both williams now with an issue in practice as the virtual safety car comes out george russell won 84 on the track acclimatization 100 on the setup lewis hamilton we still need to get some setup feedback and 76 percent on the track acclimatization um hopefully we'll get there if the, the if virtual safety cars would like to stop coming out um yeah it would be good to know just how fast we can go and we followed up uh george russell's 100 percent with lewis hamilton's 97 percent um i don't really think we'll be able to make relevant changes to get it to 100 percent. it'll be difficult to do that from here so i'm going to stick with the 97 not get too greedy and then we're going to keep on the medium tires with lewis run plan we're going to go another 30 laps with him as well. Uh, we're just going to load up some fuel and keep him out until the end of the session. George Russell is still just doing what he has been doing the whole time. Currently, lap-wise, he has done 13 laps. He's out for another 15 plus or so, I think. Um, once we get 100% track acclimatization, we'll bring him in 
slap a set of soft tires on and just give him one quick hot lap towards the end of the session. Lance Stroll involved in another crash then. That is his second one of the weekend, a huge shunt. The whole front of his car has just disappeared and he will definitely now be out for the remainder of this session. The Aston Martin season has just been horrific for them. Uh, George Russell's in the pits. He's currently on um, five out of five for the um five out of five for the setup he's on 100 percent, and he's also on um 100 for the track acclimatization so he put on some soft tires to try and get some uh, decent laps in and we're going to go to 10 laps um for george russell just so that he can try and get the car parts up to 100 percent as well uh, lewis hamilton's on 90 percent for the track acclimatization um so yeah we're just hoping that we can get him to 100 percent before the end of the session End of the session then, practice three, and George Russell tops the time sheets. We sent him out on those soft tires with low fuel, and um, yeah, he'd done some decent lap times. Hopefully, he just makes it back now to the end of uh, this lap. Good lap stuff from him. Uh, Lewis Hamilton, he's coming into the pits as well. We'll call him in now. Doesn't need to worry about doing another, another lap round this Singapore circuit, and he's down in P9. So the end of um, the first runs in qualifying, Cardinal Science tops the timesheet in Q1. Uh, Lewis Hamilton's in P4 and George Russell's in P6. So if things were to go like this um, in Q3, Lewis Hamilton will start in on P3. The three championship leaders, Verstappen, Leclerc and Hamilton, all being on the front two rows of the grid, would be fantastic. Let's send out George Russell now, currently down in P6, and Lewis Hamilton as well. Um, we're sending them both out now. Uh, they're on used tyres, so it should be fine to get through. I think we're through to at least Q2. End of the session there then. Lewis Hamilton in P4, George Russell in P7. Um, he was held up there by the Williams, so he wasn't able to really improve. Uh, Valtteri Bottas qualifying ahead of George Russell. That's a turnout for the books. Um, George Russell as well is under a little bit of pressure from um, the car. So let's take a look at the car parts on George Russell's car. The engine's at 49%. So um, we're going to have to probably take another engine penalty with George Russell at some point. The ERS is fine. The gearbox is fine. It's just the engine on Lewis Hamilton's side of things. Why is the setup at 85%? I changed it back to revert to normal. So I don't know why it's done that. Lewis Hamilton's setup should be at 97%. I don't know why that's happened. I chose, uh, I tried some, I tried to do something and 97% um, was revert to best. And that's what I've done. But anyway, 61% uh, on the engine, the ERS at 51% um, and the gearbox is at 70% as well. What we're going to do is we're going to do the ERS. Um, we're not going to do a new ERS. Uh, engine is fine as well. So we should be okay. Um, and now hopefully we can get through uh, to Q3. I think Daniel Ricciardo is out of qualifying here as he locks up and crashes into the wall. Um, that might be someone out of qualifying or does Ricciardo continue on? Um, he is right there. No, he's continuing, um, but no front wing. So he'll have to come in and change his front wing, I can imagine. Lewis Hamilton's got clean air, whereas George Russell was fighting a little bit with uh, Max Verstappen. Let's fast forward and Again, our first flying laps are always on used tyres. George Russell's behind Esteban Ocon. Lewis Hamilton currently topping the timesheets, but we will send them out again on fresh tyres. Final flying run of Q2 then, and George Russell is currently in P14, so he is in trouble. He needs a good lap here to go through to the final knockout stage of qualifying. He comes around the final two corners, crosses the line, and is up to P7. But again, he's slower than Valtteri Bottas, which is giving us bad vibes when you think about the start of the season where George Russell struggled to beat uh, Valtteri Bottas on multiple occasions. Daniel Ricciardo wasn't able to set another lap at all. So he's down in P15. Lando Norris, both McLarens are out here. And so are both Alpines as Lewis Hamilton uh, goes just a bit faster, but is still behind the two Red Bulls and the two Ferraris. So we're both into Q three with our drivers but um again it looks like p5 and p6 is our ceiling goes george russell first yeah we're good and lewis hamilton goes straight out after on the used tires and um yeah let's get in a banker lap bring them in and then pit for some uh, fresh softs 
Uh, here we go then. End of Q3. George Russell currently provisional P7. Uh, Lewis Hamilton currently provisional P4 ahead of Max Verstappen. Although I expect Max Verstappen will go much faster. He does and he's on P3. Carlos Sainz provisional pole position but that will go to Charles Leclerc as George Russell has crossed the line and he hasn't improved. What a poor lap from George Russell. What happened there? Lewis Hamilton currently P5 crosses the line. He doesn't he does improve. He's ahead of Sergio Perez. So with Carlos Sainz and his engine penalty, he goes above Carlos Sainz. So it will be Charles Leclerc from Max Verstappen at the front of the grid. Lewis Hamilton in P3. Um Carlos Sainz, it depends really where he if he's got a five place grid penalty, he'll be ahead of George Russell. That was a final poor lap. From George Russell he's not had the pace in qualifying this weekend at all although in practice he was pretty quick um yeah that's going to be the end of practice and qualifying let's jump into the race and again it's going to have to come down to our strategy I think welcome to race day and before we get down to it last minute checks are being made we saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result Ferrari performed brilliantly during qualifying and will be very pleased with their grid positions. But the challenge for them will be to keep the momentum going during the race. Tonight is a cloudy one and there's a good chance of rain. The teams will have to be flexible with their strategy for the race. So whose engine will roar loudest today at the Marina Bay Street Circuit? Unpredictable times ahead here at the Singapore Grand Prix. And then here we are, race day, partly cloudy, no rain in sight. Um, Strategy-wise, we're going to have to go aggressive again because we don't have the car set up and we don't have the pace. But we're currently starting on P3 with Lewis Hamilton and P6 with George Russell. So the soft to medium, or do we do the medium to soft? The mediums are going to fall. I could go hard. If I go hard to soft and then go aggressive throughout, we could do that. I think that might be what we have to do with both of our cars. Hard to soft. We might lose some lose some pace at the start, but um I think that that might be what we do. So hard to soft. It might be our best bet. So we're going to start with that on um Lewis Hamilton's car. What we done with Lewis and go hard. And we'll go to lap 60 laps. We want to give us at least 15 lap 45 we'll do that it's a cloudy night tonight but otherwise the weather looks good for the race and here we've got lewis hamilton they're up in third position tantalizingly close to pole and here we can see russell a top 10 position today but will they be able to capitalize on it the teams are ready to go We're just moments away from the Singapore Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Right, first things first, attack on both drivers. And hopefully we can get a decent start as Lewis Hamilton is being attacked by uh, Sergio Perez already. For P3, Sergio Perez down the inside, cutting the corner a little bit. But a good exit from Lewis Hamilton there. And he stays in P3. Let's take a look at everyone else's tyres. We're again the only ones on the hards. Very similar to Monza. And it did work out in our favour there. Everyone else is on some used softs. Apart from Fernando Alonso, who's on the mediums. Um, and he's under Albon and Lance Stroll. Carlos Sainz down in P18. So he took a full engine change. George Russell has been overtaken by Pierre Gasly. It's a great move down the inside by Gasly. That Alpha Tauri does have some pace in it. And those soft tyres have helped him out. So... If we can, with Lewis Hamilton, stick to the stick with these guys at the front, then our plan, our strategy could work later on in the race. George Russell is going to be a little bit more difficult trying to um, overtake in this amount of traffic. But I'm hopeful that once we get some clean air, once these guys on the soft pit in, we should be okay. Let's take a look at the replay. Now let's look at this. Here's George Russell. George Russell getting his position back from Pierre Gasly after a few laps battling. They go side by side and coming round to the start finish straight. He does get the position back and he's up into P6 as Lewis Hamilton sets the fastest lap of the race. Out in front, Charles Leclerc is still leading 
from Max Verstappen. But Lewis Hamilton on these hard tyres is doing very, very well not to get left. I think it's a huge positive that we can go full attack. As Max Verstappen looks around the outside of Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton tries to sneak a look around Max Verstappen. Didn't work out, but we have to watch out now as George Russell is heavily under attack here by Pierre Gazzi. Dives down the inside. Is it going to be a position loss? No, it's brilliantly defended there by George Russell. Now, we need to push up to the back of um, Valtteri Bottas because we need some DRS from Valtteri. We're currently behind him by 2.1 seconds. So let's use some ERS. And yeah, we'll be able to um, hopefully close that gap to less than a second. Now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. Lewis Hamilton taking advantage of Max Verstappen fighting Charles Leclerc. And he barges his way through up into P2. And he's now behind the Ferrari driver. These are the top two in the race, uh, in the driver's championship standings. And they're the top two in the race. Can we find ourselves on p1 as george russell is still battling behind valtteri bottas i think we can get the jump on valtteri it's just sergio perez that might be a little bit difficult as lewis hamilton has taken the lead of the singapore grand prix let's deploy some ers because these guys are going to be rapid on these soft tires with the drs open but lewis hamilton leads from charles leclerc we just caught the end of that let's take a look at the replay now, just watch the Mercedes here. DRS is very powerful round here. And we dive down the inside. And Lewis Hamilton leads at Singapore. This has been a great drive from him so far. We now just need to try and escape uh, from... Um, we just need to try and escape from these guys using a bit of ERS. I think that was a crash. Let's As Esteban Ocon has crashed. Will we get a safety car? So Ocon is behind Ocon. Carlos Sainz towards the back of the pack. And he just locks up. Oh, he tries a late dive bomb down the inside of Sainz. And he's potentially out of this race. All right, Lewis Hamilton's lead did not last very long then. As under DRS, Charles Leclerc takes the lead back of this race from the British driver. But we're still in P2. And again, we are on a very different strategy here to the guys out in front. No need to worry, engineers. We've got this undercover potentially. George Russell has made up a place. He is currently in P5. He's jumped ahead of um, Valtteri Bottas as Lewis Hamilton looks for the race lead again going around the outside can he make it work he's now on the inside this is brilliant driving from the two championship contenders once again going wheel to wheel at a circuit as Max Verstappen boxes in early who gets the DRS here is it the Ferrari or is it the Mercedes Lewis Hamilton with the DRS open is going to make a look into turn one no he doesn't let's take a look Max Verstappen he is boxing and he is boxing in for hard tires so those soft tires only lasted 14 laps then 14 laps we need to keep a note of that because that's how long we're gonna have to go at the end but we've managed to get the jump on Max Verstappen can we get the jump on Charles Leclerc as well who I imagine is coming into the pits on the next lap George Russell late on the brakes dives down the inside of Sergio Perez who I imagine will also be diving into the pits at the end of this lap following Max Verstappen as Lewis Hamilton continues behind Charles Leclerc who is not pitted yet either. Charles Leclerc hasn't pitted yet again um, so that's two laps longer either Max Verstappen is trying a massive undercut. Or his tyres really, really dipped. It'll be interesting though, actually. Will the Ferrari even come in for the hard tyres? I'm not sure. George Russell is still ahead of the Red Bull. Max Verstappen has boxed in early here. Lap uh, 15. He's now currently in traffic behind Carlos Sainz. Kevin Magnussen's in the pits. As um, maybe Carlos Sainz can do his teammate a massive favour in the championship. Right, Lewis Hamilton leads this race as Charles Leclerc has come in for his one and only stop. And he has come out way, way ahead of Max Verstappen. The traffic has held Max Verstappen up massively and Charles Leclerc has jumped all of them. So that has worked out wonderfully for the Ferrari man. As we take a look there at the leader, Lewis Hamilton currently P1, George Russell currently P2. He's still holding up Sergio Perez and the other guys behind, uh, Valtteri Bottas. Let's take a look at the tyres. Um, let's see here. What did Leclerc put it on to hards as well? So he's just basically covered off Max Verstappen. We started on the hards. We went ultra aggressive. 
our pit stop is not due for another 26 laps. So we're going to continue attacking until, what is it, lap um, 45 or something like that? Uh, 43, something around then. And then we will have less than 20 laps to manage on the soft tyre. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Oh, George Russell has completely spun and hit the wall. Uh, is that him out of the race? Is he going to have some suspension damage? I uh, know, but his tires are going to be... His tires are going to have an issue. Is the car okay? Um, There's yellow flags. He's okay. He's not out of this race, but the tires are going to be a huge problem. Um... Right, we have to be careful now with Lewis Hamilton. So instead of attack, we're going aggressive. Um, George Russell is obviously going to have major issues on the rear wing and on the tyres. So, um, yeah, we are going to have some problems here with, with George Russell. We're going to keep him out for a little bit longer. But um, yeah, we're going to box him in a lot earlier than anticipated. And we'll probably finish the race on mediums with George. We'll stick to the one stop. Hopefully, we can make up some time. But yeah, attacking has really hurt us there with, with George Russell. Lewis Hamilton, we're going to drop it down to standard. No risks here needed. Charles Leclerc is fighting with Fernando Alonso, who is helping out Lewis Hamilton unintentionally. I don't think F uh, Fernando Alonso has boxed in yet. He hasn't. He's one of the only ones alongside us who hasn't come in. And he is fighting with Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc, which is helping Lewis Hamilton out in front. Right, George Russell is struggling a bit for pace here. So we're bringing him in now um, for medium tyres. I wonder if the engineers and mechanics are going to have to do anything else to this car. There's major rear wing damage. So we do potentially have to look out for that. Here comes George Russell for the medium tyres, which should last until the very end. Through goes Charles Leclerc and through goes Max Verstappen, both into clean air. Here comes um, Fernando Alonso as well as Mick Let's Schumacher has crashed. There. There's a yellow right, flag there this. for Mick Schumacher. Schumacher. He does something similar to Esteban Ocon. He locks up and runs wide. We've seen a lot of incidents at that part of the circuit. Um, but yeah, George Russell, is he going to come out ahead of Valtteri Bottas? No, he doesn't. So he is now behind Bottas and Perez, but he's on the fresher tyres. So um, it's going to be a race until the end here. We're not going to overdo it just yet, sorry. We're going to save it until towards the end of the race. But that spin has really compromised George Russell's race. Keep the delta positive. Right, there is a safety car here with um i don't know how many laps remaining uh what lap are we on how do we check um max verstappen is 33 seconds behind and is on the hard tires and the hard tires he's been on for a while we can have a free pit stop here with lewis hamilton and box onto mediums or uh, yeah we're not gonna get we're gonna have to respond now with lewis hamilton we have to we have to box him in we do have to box him in. Well, the, the softs could go 47 laps, but I don't want to risk it because the softs do fall off. So we're going to bring him in for medium tyres and box Lewis Hamilton this lap big shank, big because shank. of the safety car. There is currently, uh, let's take a look. We're on lap 32. So there's 28 laps like left as Sebastian car. Vettel a causes a so safety car here. A similar incident to his teammate Lance Stroll a couple of times. That's a big crash. And Vettel is out of this race, I believe. Yeah. So here comes Lewis Hamilton. He's going to box in for medium tyres. And there are 29 laps left on this race. George Russell has been put under a lot of pressure now by Carlos Sainz. And we need a smooth pit stop here from Lewis Hamilton. We should have a freebie. It should be a completely free pit stop ahead of Max Verstappen. Just because of the amount of time um it takes obviously to slow down with the safety car max verstappen and charles leclerc have both been battling like mad for the majority of this second stint of the race you know who else is actually a big winner here potentially fernando alonso in p4 um do max verstappen and charles leclerc box in no they don't does fernando alonso box in it'd be interesting to see if he comes in um he's still out on his used mediums 
So, yeah, I think with Lewis, we're going to conserve tyres for a long while. We're going to save some fuel. I'm going to harvest the battery as well. George Russell, going to harvest the battery, conserve some fuel, conserve some tyres. And we're just going to wait until this safety car um, has come in. Safety car in this lap. Right, so lap 34 and the safety car is ending. So we're going to go to standard, balanced and neutral. And then with George, we're going to go with aggressive, balanced and neutral. So Lewis Hamilton is now the safety car. The thing though is, interestingly, behind Lewis Hamilton is Mick Schumacher, who is a lapped car. They've not allowed the lap cars to get past. He's up in P2. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting now to see what happens. George Russell is going to have to watch out. Carlos Sainz is behind. Sergio Perez is ahead. And there's some traffic ahead as well. So let's take a look at how things go. Lewis Hamilton is the new safety car. And he is bolting. Does Mick Schumacher get straight out of the way of Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc? He does. Now we are on the fresher medium tyres. Let's take a look at the tyre wear. Verstappen and Leclerc are on hards. We're on mediums. They all have to go to the end of the race. They can probably attack a little bit more than we have. So towards the... We need to create a bit of a gap now. It is now or never on the tyres because they can probably attack a little bit better than we can as George Russell is defending from Carlos Sainz just about manages to um, hold him behind. But the damage to the car following his crash has not helped. But is he going to get an overtake on Valtteri Bottas? No. Um, there's still a long half of this race to go. Let's have a look. Now here we see Max Verstappen. But the hard tyres are now starting to come into effect for these guys out in front. And Max Verstappen dives around the outside of Lewis Hamilton to take the race lead here. Um, in terms of the championship, Max Verstappen winning this race is probably not the worst thing. Um, as we go back to Lewis Hamilton's point of view here, um, we're up in P2 at the minute. 80% on the tyre wear, but... Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen are able to conserve their tyres a little bit better because the hards are going to last quite a bit longer. So now we're in DRS. If we can maybe follow Max Verstappen for a bit, save our tyres, that will be pretty good as George Russell is up in P6 following Fernando Alonso's pit stop, who has now come out in P13 on the soft tyres. Um, George Russell, he's going to have to put an attack on Valtteri Bottas. Is he going to do it into turn one under DRS? It's a beautiful move around the outside. Can he go into the next part of the circuit ahead? Well done. Just let's deploy a little bit of ERS just to make this move stick. And George Russell is up into P5. Brilliant move there by George Russell. And let's look at this. Here's George Russell. George Russell round the outside of Sergio Perez. Some ERS deployed. And good move by him on the Red Bull driver. A decent recovery here from George Russell as he is up in P4. We're going to have to go neutral again on the ERS because we don't want to run it out. Lewis Hamilton is still battling with Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc. He is in the lead of this race. We missed out on the overtake. We didn't get a replay of it, but those front three are starting to now run away with it. We're going to have to go on attack on the tyres soon enough but um yeah it's a little bit of a concern that we've not been able to make this tyre advantage work and run away from these guys with 10 laps to go we're just gonna have to go on defensive match for Stappen and Lewis Hamilton side by side through the tight twisty Singapore circuit these two guys are changing the race lead every single second with five laps to go on this race. Charles Leclerc is still just lurking in the background. He is waiting to pounce as Max Verstappen now has the DRS. It's a three-way fight for the lead, but Leclerc is through down the inside of Max Verstappen. Does he hang on to second place? Can Lewis Hamilton bring Leclerc through with him? No, and Lewis Hamilton... We're going to have to start going on attack now. Um, those guys are attacking a little bit. So, Lewis Hamilton, it's time to attack with these medium tyres and try to run away. Um, let's push the fuel as well. Try to get a little bit of a gap. Let's deploy some ERS on top of that. Just as long as we don't run out of the ERS before the end of the race, I think we should be fine. But on lap number 56, 
Lewis Hamilton leads ahead of Max Verstappen, ahead of championship leader Charles Leclerc, but they probably have the tyre advantage. George Russell is now coasting in P4, Valtteri Bottas in P5, Sergio Perez in P6 and Carlos Sainz being held up by the Red Bull man. There we have it then, Lewis Hamilton on the final lap of the race at the Singapore Grand Prix. He now leads Charles Leclerc by 4.7 seconds. That attack mode using the battery and using our tyres has really helped. We're going to go on attack because I want to finish this race as quickly as possible. Let's go on to deploy as well. George Russell, we're going to go on attack also. Push and deploy the battery let's try and get an extra bonus point if we can currently lewis hamilton has the fastest lap of the race Charles Leclerc is still defended from max verstappen this has been a race long battle but our strategy once again has come in so clutch here as george russell worked his way up from p6 on the grid to p4 it would have potentially been a one two or a double podium if george russell did not hit the wall earlier on in the race but Lewis Hamilton has controlled everything about this this race at the minute out in front he's been superb someone else has retired but hopefully that doesn't mean a safety car who is that that's retired we'll find out in a minute we'll go on to neutral um are we on course for a fastest lap yes he has gone purple in the middle sector can we deploy some ERS some more with George Russell we don't need to as Lewis Hamilton now comes around the final corner it was Lance Stroll that retired both of the Aston Martins trying to sabotage our race once again but Lewis Hamilton comes around the final turns here at Singapore for a set a six race win this season he is the winner of the Singapore Grand Prix Charles Leclerc finishes in P2 George Russell coming home in P4 with Max Verstappen in P3 rounding out the podium. A brilliant drive here by George Russell, considering he lucky not to retire and he had major rear wing damage. Good recovery drive from him. Talking of recovery drives, Carlos Sainz in P5. Good for him to recover from that. Valtteri Bottas finished in P6 ahead of Sergio Perez. That is a surprise. It's Pierre Gasly good second half to the season for him some more consistent points for the Alfa Tauri driver he's really putting himself into contention for a potential Mercedes seat in the future he's P8 Joe Guan Yu in P9 and Kevin Magnussen fighting it out with Fernando Alonso and uh, Lando Norris for the final points paying position Kevin Magnussen comes around takes the checkered flag in P10 this is a result truly worthy of a champion for Lewis Hamilton Everyone involved in Formula One dreams of seeing their driver up there on the podium. The highly decorated record breaker from Stevenage once again taking to the podium. It was a hard-fought contest for all three drivers, each one securing precious points for their team. Mercedes once again showing why they're one of the biggest names in F1. Yeah, this was a really clever bit of strategy, and it's great to see that pay off. I can't wait to find out what they show us next time. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. Next round, we'll see us head east as F1 prepares for the Japanese Grand Prix. We'll see you at Suzuka, a firm favourite for the drivers. That uh, Singapore race could have really been boring, but I really, really wasn't at all. And um, some fantastic driving, a brilliant strategy call to come in under the safety car. Going long really helped us. Um, and we were able to box in for the medium tyres and get a race win out of it. Driver standing one, Charles Leclerc still leads, but Lewis Hamilton has cut that gap now to three points and three points only. 
and Lewis Hamilton now has six race wins to Charles Leclerc's five. That's the most race wins on the grid. Lewis Hamilton with the most race wins this season. Credit to him. George Russell up in P5, still way ahead of Sergio Perez, who his form has just taken a huge dip. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Red Bull were looking to replace him in the future. And he is now only three points behind Carlos Sainz. So if we can get P1 and P4 at Japan with the Mercedes drivers, I will be very, very impressed with that. Constructors-wise, another massive chunk taken out of the Ferrari lead. 10-point difference. And now we're currently only behind Ferrari by six points. So if we win at Japan, there's a possibility we could take the lead in the Constructors' Championship. Red Bull are lagging behind Ferrari by 98 points. So it looks like they might be out of it here um in terms of the constructors championship but we even though we've only had one pole position all year our strategy calls and our um our strategy calls and our aggressiveness on the tires has really made us a force to be reckoned with let's continue on then find out any development points no none for lewis none for george none for nick de Frieva, but that's okay and the sponsorship wise we get all of our money, but we did have to pay Lewis Hamilton a huge chunk of it with a bonus clause for the uh, win. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Once again, I just want to thank everyone so much for all of the support, all of the love, all of the subscribers, all of the likes on the videos. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button down below for regular F1 Manager 22 content. Um, we'll be back with the next episode at Japan. And yeah, take care. Stay safe and I'll see you for the next one at the Suzuka International Racing Course.